Boop. Did, did, did they choose? That, that'll do. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Wow. Yeah, there they are. What a bunch of cuties. So hello, everybody, and welcome to Jurassic World Alive. I would say hopefully this is my last Mortem raid, but I realized that even if I unlock um, Mortem Rex, I'm going to have to keep on doing this because we need it level um, 20. Well, we need it starts at level 26, I think, is what it, you unlock it at. Um, and of course, you need to get to level 30. Uh, and apparently, there's already people that have managed to get it at level 28 already. Some people have got it two or three weeks ago. Which is crazy. And I've seen some channels clickbait the hell out of it saying, Unlocked Mortem Rex! And they haven't. <laughs> Just they've used like screenshots that people have posted on these uh, Discord groups and stuff on Facebook. Oh, bless. But here we are. This could be, no clickbait, the actual time that we manage to unlock Mortem Rex. We were on 270 out of 300. Uh... So distraction, distraction. I mean, if we all distract, we're good. I think we all just distract. I think it's the Tenado that just needs to heal. Yeah, we're good. So we're going with the double killer chicken strat because it's friggin' insane. Uh, one has 1,860 attack, right? So you think straight off the bat, I'll do instant, you know, instant attack. What's that? 3,600? That's a lot of damage, isn't it? What? Well, this guy... Uh, has 2,734 attack. <laughs> oh my god, that is ridiculous. That is ludicrous numbers. Think about that. Right, imagine your team right now, you see that phosphor or whatever it's called, 5,400 attack in the first hit, and it's a priority move. So unless you're quicker than it, and you also, I don't know, uh, ooh, we're not gonna kill it now, are we? No, they're both going for evasive sidestep so they can miss it. Uh, so I may as well just go for the big hit. Might as well. Just see how much damage we can do to it. Hey, <laughs> hey ho, what you gonna do? Uh, so yeah, this is the second video of Jurassic World Alive in a row, basically. Um, I've got some idea what I wanna do today. Um, whether that video is up or not already. Uh, it's just something that I, I, I wanna talk about, because it's, um... It's going to affect a lot of people, not only, yeah, well, we'll, well, I'll not talk about it now, don't want to spoil it, you have to watch another video, yay. Um, oh, 7,800. Okay, who's it going to hit? Oh no, it's me! Did you get a crit? Oh, he didn't. Oh, thank god. Right, what I can do now is just go for a sub superiority, but I don't think there's any point. I think we just all distract him. I don't think it's 15,000. I don't think it's 15,000. No, it's definitely not going to be 15,000. No way. Yeah. So that's 1,800. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to be. But the next time we should be able to kill him. So I saw somebody else. Like there's another strategy with Irritator as well. With the Hadro, Hadro Lux. Um, so it was Irritator level. I don't know. I've seen some crazy wacky strats with the Hadro. There was one that had a level 9... Uh, I can't even remember what the hybrid is. It's one like it's like a common hybrid or something ridiculous. It's really terrible, but um, people have managed to make it work. Okay, so what's he gonna do now? Is it the biggest hit? Because if it's the biggest hit, we may as well just distract him again. Yeah, it's the biggest hit. So uh, if we distract, 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 and then he just goes for a, a heal, I guess. I mean, I'm not even that. I I, I mean, I could have went for my priority heal. But he's already missing some some attack, so we got this. It's, we're not going to kill him the fastest that you can do, but it's pretty much a guarantee. Like, and if we all do this, we'll make sure he doesn't do any crit, and we'll also make sure that I think he doesn't do any damage either. Immune to HP changes! Oh, spoopy. <laughs> it is October now. Good lord. I'm assuming that uh, Halloween's probably going to be cancelled. I'd assume. Um, I don't think parents are going to let their kids take candy that- Oh, uh, uh, sweets! Sweets! Not candy, you Americans! <laughs> what do you call candy? Candy's chocolate, right? You call- if you say you want some chocolate, you wouldn't say you want some chocolate, you say you want some candy. I think, right? And cookies! That's right, because cookies over here are completely different. Uh, oh, hold on, what's he gonna- I think I do need to heal. Um... 
Who, who, who said that? Shall I heal? I'll heal then. I'll heal. Go on then. I'll heal myself. Um, I don't know what the Antonio... Antonio probably had. Uh, it's good then too, so he might not have had it. But I definitely need to heal myself. <laughs> That's for sure. So these two raptors are dead. Hey, because over here, if you were to say cookies in England, cookies mean like chocolate chip cookies. Otherwise, you mean biscuits. Chips and potatoes, or is it chips and crisps? Do they even have crisps in America? I don't think you do, you say chips. Chips for, chips for, no, then fries. That's right, chips and fries. Chips are potatoes for us, but chips for you are crisps. Oh my God, so it's a lost in translation. <laughs> Beaver, what are you talking about? I love that episode where Beaver talked about crisps and chips. <laughs> I was gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, well, that's okay, that's not too bad. So I'm gonna go for, I mean, Tornado can go for the group heal. That's not a problem. I'll go for the distraction because I don't think, yeah, he's just gonna do a big hit. Everyone else just do distraction and then the Tornado can heal. Uh, and I'll just say, uh, Wait, oh, okay, yeah, sure, I guess you could completely be a, uh, do no damage, I guess, that, that too. It just, it seems very easy, doesn't it? Oh, look, you see those mountains in the background? Oh, they're the, um, Kauai mountain range that you see all the time. If you ever see, like, some sort of movie it's set in, like, like a tropical island, whatever, just look out for that mountain range. It's, it's in everything. I think, um, last time I saw it was in Jumanji, I think it was. I was like, up. Oh, they're on Nublar again. <laughs> okay, so how much damage is he gonna do? He's gonna do nothing, no. Oh yes, could this be it? Could this be the one, guys, that we unlock? Mortem Rex. Okay, there it is, there's a group heal. And we'll just go for distractions. And he's, he literally can't do anything, because I think uh, Tornado's actually carries over to the next round. I don't know about Az. I think Az are only for the one specific round. But because we've got four, because I think it takes four in order to reduce him, and we've got Tornado's working still from the last round, because it's for two turns, whereas Az is for one, he's still only going to do one damage. So now, I mean, let's think about it, right? We've got, I mean, does he, does he have armor? I don't even know if he has armor. Does he have armor? No, he has no armor. So let's think, 5,700 damage already coming through from one of the chickens. One of those kill. I need to get me, I need to get myself a killer chicken. That's what I need. I, I need one of those. So if now we just go for the biggest hits, can we do 14,000 damage in one turn? It's doable, I think. What is his Tornado? 3,000, oh, it's max. So there's 3,700. There's gonna be 5,000. Oh, 5,400, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do what, like 3,000? 3, 3,000 damage? And then a Tornado is gonna do something like six or 7,000 damage. If he gets a crit, he's gonna do even more. Let's have a look. How much damage? Here we go. Bam, 6,284 and easy peasy. But, 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 are we able, are we able to unlock Mortem Rex? Please don't invite me to a raid like you did last time. Oh, thank God we get to see it. Good, good, good. <gasps> Come on, we just need 30. We need 30. It's not a big ask. Really, when we think about it. Hold on. Can I? Okay, right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. 30. Don't give me 10. Don't give me 10. Don't give me 20. Because uh, don't give me 25 either. Come on, 30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. No! Oh, no. Oh, I mean, it's not as bad as it could have been. Really not as bad as it could have been. It could have been 10. It really could have been 10. But 20... Have they changed Mom Rex's picture? I feel like they have. Ooh. Ooh, so next week, next week, we have guaranteed unlocked Mortem Rex. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, that's going to be loads of fun. Ooh, raid notification, never miss a raid. Oh, turn it on. No, thank you, Lutia. I'm okay. So, with that out of the way, how about we have a look at our collection? So, this is what I have at the moment. Um, of course, we still, we've still got Adendus Maxima because it has all of its health boosts on it. And I really don't want to waste those. Look, 1,859. What can I do? I can't do anything with it, really. Uh, I'm sorry, 9,600. I'd love to take them all off. I'm just waiting on Lydia. If they if they are gonna refund, um, I I really think they shouldn't have the you know you lose fifty percent of them if you take it off. Really think that actually just hinders 
everybody who's part of who plays this game it's so much nicer to just switch and match and say okay let's let's try this strat oh i want to mess around with this because you know what's gonna what what's the end game there oh you have all your dinosaurs with um with boosts i mean really all you need is like a team of eight to have max boost so eventually you will hit that point because you're not losing any ever uh, but losing 50, taking them off, ah, oh, and I've never done that. I don't think I've ever taken, maybe once. So in total, from all of my boosts, I've only ever lost, I think, 50. And I've played this game since, of course, boosts were out. And I only have uh, Ardennis Maxima, which was kind of like a max creature. Um, now a wasted creature, because nobody uses it. Um, I've got Dealer Cheris, which... I think is 29 out of 30 and really in the grand scheme of things it's not used now anyway because Turo Moloch has taken its place. I thought Dealer Cheris, oh I could use it in competitive and I could help out with raids but now Turo Moloch's just the best. So if I could I would take all my boosts off of Dilo. I take all my boosts off of Ardents and the only other creature that I do use that has boosts on it is Magnetator with that 2300 attack. I think I got one more speed or something to put on it which I really don't know what I'm going to do. And that's it. Trico, Utaranix, Thordor, Erlodom, Gemini Titan. None of those have boosts on. And this guy, eventually, or at least at one point, I was using him. Um, but it just, it didn't, I, th I don't know what was changed about it. Um, distract distracting Rampage isn't too bad. Nullify Encounter, <laughs> Uh, evasive stance, instant distraction. I can't remember exactly why I didn't, why I stopped using this guy, but it might even be better. To be fair, I might, I might actually just use this. There's a delay on the distraction, maybe that's why. Um, I can't really remember. It, I think it nullified, cleanse damage over time. Yeah, I think I nullified the other team. Uh, reduce critical chance by 100%, reduce damage 50% for two turns. It was, I think it was just nullifying. The nullifying just helped wh whatever boosts they had. Now a case, no, nowadays, it doesn't do anything. It just removes their critical chance and that's it. So it's like, eh, is it really worth it? No, not really. It, it had the nullifying and that's kind of what made you set up for the next go. But Gemini Titan, I think I'm tempted still to use Gemini Titan because it's a good health tank. It has some good movesets. 120,000 coin. May as well. I'm not spending on anything else, apparently. What I would actually like is that Phosphorus. The Phosphorus. I don't even know if that's a creature that a lot of people use. And for me to spend loads of DNA and coin onto Turamolek seems like a bit of a waste now that pretty much everybody... I mean... <sighs> Turmo looks really good, but, and I think I have a lot of DNA for it. I have 85,000 <laughs> Tijongasaurus and uh, Paramolok. Um, I have a load of Paramolok with the Sticky Moloch. So I, if I really wanted to, I could make Turmolok level 30. But is there any point? Is there? I don't know. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people use Model Ryan, but it's only level 21. And it's going to take me a long time to get it useful. And even then, I'm going to need to put mods on it. So it's like, oh, boost, sorry. I don't know. Tenoda Rex is a solid choice. I've definitely seen Tenoda Rex used a lot. But maybe I just need to boost uh, Trico. Trico. I mean, actually, no, you're right. Yeah, I have boosted Trico. I put 10 on health and 10 on attack. Huh. No, never mind. And then Trico got nerfed. So it's like, ah, dad, I don't really don't know what to use. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I was really hoping I would showcase Modern Rex. So this is going to be a little bit of a quicker video, um, which is okay because I've got other stuff to get on with. But hey ho, we were this close to getting it. Oh my God, so close. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>